hello everyone uh, today let me show you a little simple trick to use the free prepick images on your website without compromising your website design layout and without infringing copyright issues okay here uh, yeah m there are premium photos and uh, free photos on freepick.com here for example this is an Im free image free image which you can use on your website but the thing is <laughs> you have to add attribu attribution or copyright credit for this image yeah attribution is required and attribution attribution on a blog page is, is okay uh, you can add uh, the attribution in the caption itself but if you are design using this image itself in the hero section for example you cannot add attribute uh, attribution or copyright credit uh, there itself so you have to add uh, uh, these uh, attributions or credits in the footer itself so yeah you may uh, use more than one images on your website from prepick.com in that case copy all the uh, link of the images that you have downloaded and used here for example you can copy the link here and here create a new piece call it credits here you can uh, in, in, uh, put all the credits that uh, had contribute in your project for example this free images or anyone who have contributed in your project you can put the credits on, on this page This is the link put in the credit page. Uh, preferably, uh, edit uh, this page, edit with Elementor or edit this Gutenberg and put few wordings. For example, I am grateful for those who have contributed to this project or blah blah blah. And serial number wise, one, two, three, four, like that. Put the credits. It's as simple as that. And publish this page. Then go to your footer you may use uh, Elementor to design the footer then go to the theme builder or footer bu uh, designer and add this space on the footer itself here and this is not just uh, <laughs> my compromise trick but it is okay this is compliance with this and um, the attribution policy copyright policy here for example how to attribute here copy this link and paste it wherever it is visible this is not possible for us we do not want to compromise the our design close uh, close it to here you are using the resource if that's not possible yeah if that's not possible place it at the footer footer your your, or your website blog or newsletter or in the credits section yeah this is the credits section this is the trick that I'm using we can put these links in the credits section without compromising our web design or layout yeah it is loading and why we should all all these troubles to use these images because yeah we want to save uh, the money when we design website we want do we do not want to buy this premium images from adobe store or Shutter store and whatever uh stock uh, image repositories we don't want to buy them we want to use free but the free royalty free images here for example unsplash.com uh, pixabay pexels.com this the, uh, there are tons of millions of royalty free images we can use for our project but the thing is these images are not suitable for most of our projects or oh, it's okay for those uh, general landscape or scenery uh, photos 
uh, you can use use it for background or feature image uh, for the blog post that's uh, f that's fine but if uh, if the project uh, is particular niche niche and you want to use and uh, photo of a, a business woman business business woman on your hero section then it is hard to find suitable photos on this pre uh, images websites but in the freepick.com here when I just search woman all these images have showing results on these search results are all all these are suitable for projects here all these are yeah no background color background color even 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 it has background color we can just re remove it and change it easily with uh, adobe photos or other photo editors or here all these are suitable all these stock photos are made or captured for the graphic design purposes so this is more suitable that's why we have to go all the troubles of adding credits or attribution and use these free images yeah I, in the my upcoming video series on how to design website i will start to using free images because it is harder to find <laughs> more and more suitable images in the unsplash.com and pixels.com so yeah let's use these prefix images and to be clear i am not affiliated to freepick.com or anything so i am just suggesting you to how to use this uh, beautiful images on your next project here put a elementor and and contributors or cadets contributors which you can say say contributors and link this to link this to credit space okay a link now yeah open in new tab okay I'm dead it on the this space now we have yeah you have contributed you have add the credits on this contributor space so you we are not uh, 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 infringing any copyrights we have comply with the uh, attribution CC attribution policy so this it this is how you can use free uh, free images without uh, compromising any copyrights or your website design layout and i hope this uh, this is <laughs> helpful to you yeah, somehow and yeah thanks for watching this video don't forget to like this video subscribe and leave your feedbacks see you in the next episode